My name is Patty and welcome to my YouTube channel. I tend to post videos on cleaning, home decor, and life as a working mama. So if you're into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Today's video is going to be a slightly large cleaning product empties video. So I have done these videos before on my channel. I like to test out cleaning products, mostly all natural cleaning products. And I kind of just give you my reviews on them. I do lots of cleaning videos. I have cleaning playlists. I can leave them in the cards for you guys. I like to do empties videos to kind of give you my full final review on a product after I have finished it up. I think it's a great way to give reviews on things, kind of tell you how I use them maybe. So without further ado, let's get into this video. It's a little overflowing, so I am going to tackle these bigger items first, and then we can get into all the good stuff. Two things I have on top, same product, it's just distilled white vinegar. You know I love to use this in my laundry to get out, like, smells. It works really good on active wear as well, FYI. I don't really think I need to say anything else about it, that's all I really use it for. I'm um, putting it in the laundry, make, doing lots of loads. I just go through it really fast. I have this Ecos laundry detergent. It's free and clear. You can get it at Walmart for $10 and it lasts forever. I love it. It's great for HE washers. That's what I have. And I can use it on Lowe's clothes, no problem. Like, I absolutely love this. I think I'm gonna test out some more other natural laundry detergents, but I did repurchase this. Just so you know, like, I love it. Another thing you're going to see in here are some products that are not natural. I know I kind of like strive to use mostly all natural products, but in my opinion, since I had already purchased these items in the past, and I'm not going to just throw them away, like I'm going to use them up, you know? So that's why you'll see products in here that are not natural. Especially these three. So they're just regular Clorox disinfecting wipes. Now, I recently did a like entire house clean with me and I talked about in that video because I finally used these up and I wanted to try something natural and the only ones that I could find that were disinfecting were the 7th generation disinfecting wipes. They do not smell good. I do not like them at all. Like, whoo, that scent is strong. Not sure if I'm going to be purchasing Clorox wipes in the future. I'll have to wait and see if I can find like a better alternative but it is what it is and I haven't purchased any yet. So next product is these Baby Gannix all-purpose wipes. These are the fragrance free ones. They don't claim to be disinfecting at all but I think they work pretty well. At first I didn't like them like the scent is a little like even though it says fragrance free the scent of it is a little off-putting but I think I kind of just got used to it. Like I want to see if I can smell it in here. No, I can't really smell it too much. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a little weird. Like, they're, they're okay. Like, they work. If you want something that's, like, more of, like, a fragrance-free version, I think these would be a good alternative as opposed to just regular baby wipes. Because most of the other wipes that I have tried, like, tried and tested out and have bought in so far all have, like, a fragrance. So, if you wanted a fragrance-free version, I think this is for you. Let's get these two out of the way, too, because they are also not natural at all. <laughs> This is the Great Value Hand Soap. Now this is the Hand Rejuvenation Fresh Pomegranate. Like I think it's supposed to be Walmart's generic version of the Dawn Plus Olay. I did really like it and like I love the scent, used it a lot. Like it's really cheap, it's in a huge bottle. But I'm trying to be better with buying all natural stuff. So I just did a grill haul as well and I just purchased a ton of dish soap that I will be testing out. Some of it I've already tried before and I do like and I am planning on doing a like dish soap comparison video because there are differences between all of these natural ones. But yes, I finished these up and I haven't purchased it since. This is a frequent flyer. This will probably always be an empty video. So I'm not going to talk too much about it because I've talked about it in a lot of my videos. So if you watch a lot of my videos, you probably already know. This is the Dapple Stain Remover. I love this. I wish it was easier to find. Like Target, can you please sell this? Walmart, can you please sell this? 
both of them sell the dish soap, the dapple dish soap, but no, God forbid, they sell the stain remover. Like this works great. It doesn't have like a terrible smell like the dress. I love this stuff and I highly recommend it. And it's pretty affordable. I'm not sure if I would consider this natural. It says free, like, but I'm not 100% like, I'm assuming it probably isn't since it's Febreze. But this is the Febreze like fabric like deodorizer. I used to use this a lot and then I finished it up and I haven't bought it since. But it's like one of those products that like because it's fragrance free too, I'm like, I don't really know if it works. Like do the fabrics really just smell refreshed? Like is it like killing the bad odors? Like I have no idea if this works. Like I use the whole product like there's nothing in here. And I am still undecided about it. Like, I feel like sometimes it's hard to tell if these kind of products work. I liked it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again. Let's get into, let's do these two method products. This one has probably also been in a former empties video. I've talked about it a lot in cleaning videos as well. And this is the method all-purpose lime and sea salt. I'm obsessed. I know a lot of other mamas are obsessed, especially with this scent. And it just works great. Now, like I said, I've been testing out a lot of products. So like I finished this one, but I'm gonna like hold on to it now because I plan to do some comparison videos. Like I bought like the Mrs. Myers, Greenworks, I bought Seventh Generation. I was also just at Wal no, Target, because they have this new Evergreen brand. Like I think it's a Target brand, it's like called Evergreen. I also saw that Seventh Generation was like switching up their line a little bit, so I don't know if I'll like revisit some of their products. Then there's also like the Love Home and Beauty. I think that's the name of it. There's just so many other products. So for right now, technically I haven't repurchased this, but this is awesome. Like you can find it on Grub, you can find it at Target, super cheap, like it's awesome. Let's just say I would definitely, if I wasn't testing out products, like I would just be buying it. Like I wouldn't even think about buying other products. So yes, love it. Next product is the Method Dish Soap. First off, they probably just win because they have a pump. Like, this is the smartest idea for dish soap. We don't have a dishwasher, so we wash all of our hands. All of our hands. We wash all of our dishes by hand, and that can get to be a lot. Like, And I just love the fact that it comes from the pump. Now, this is the pear ginger scent. I bought this on sale, so I don't know if they sell this one anymore. Like, I haven't seen this scent. Like, I don't know if it's like a seasonal scent or if they are just continuing the scent, but I love the scent. So if you see it, I would say pick it up. But I haven't like opened up any of like the new method dish soaps yet, like any of the new scents that I had purchased, but I do think it is great. Like I really am hoping I like it and then I can just buy like the big bag and like refill it because it goes through so much dish soap. So this is gonna be a random product and <laughs> Like I said in my grow call, like I don't know if this is embarrassing or not, but I went through a bug spray. This is the Aunt Fanny's Roach Remedy. So I don't actually know what kind of bugs we have, like I think I said in that video too. I'm not about to get up close and personal to these bugs to really see what they are. Like that, I hate bugs, they gross me out. But I like that you can use this around kids, around pets, like it's super friendly in a sense. <laughs> but <laughs> kid friendly roach unfriendly like I thought that's so cute that they put that on the bottle I'm weird but I use this I do like it like I bought like more of it and I bought like this the regular all over or like all bug spray I don't know what you call it and I do actually really like it and I think it works like call me crazy but I really think it works and it's a weird smell don't get me wrong but I kind of like it so but this is another product that you'll probably always see, mostly because I don't know if like another brand makes something like this. Like I'd have to do more digging, but this is the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. I love this stuff for the sink. Like I exclusively use it in my sink and it works so good. I like this scent, the lemon verbena scent. I do like this. I am like really big on Mrs. Meyer scents and like how much like I <laughs> complain about them. Like I just go off on their scents all the time. But I do like this one and it works really well. And like I said, I don't know if any other brand makes something similar to this that I could like compare it to. So absolutely love it. I'm gonna group these two together because <laughs> 
I showed you a scent I like, and now this is going to be a scent I absolutely hate, and this is the Mrs. Myers lavender scent. I hate it. I don't understand how people like this, but they do. So I have the hand soap and I have the room spray. So back when I made my first grove order, like I got like a whole kit, and I was like, oh, people always rave about the lavender scent. I'm sure it smells amazing. So I got a bunch of the lavender stuff. Oh my god. And I finally finished it up and it has been a godsend because I cannot stand smelling this. Like I would spray this. Like this lasts a long time. Like I will say that about their room sprays. They do last a very long time because it has taken me forever to use up the two I had bought and hated. <laughs> and same thing with their hand soaps. I also feel like their hand soaps last really long as well. But I just hate the scent. So I would never repurchase anything from the lavender scents. But I do like some of their products. So I do like their hand soaps. I do like the room series, just not in the scent. It's just terrible. I hate it. Like, it just, ah, so gross. And these last two are also not, or last four, I should say, aren't natural as well. They're just bath and body hand soaps, which, oh my God, they smell so good. Like, why did they come out with the best scents ever? Like, they just need to come out with a natural line. Unless they have that, let me know in the comments below. But I, I don't know enough about Bath and Body Works, but I have two of the foaming soaps. This one is flannel and crisp morning air. All of these smell amazing, like it's Bath and Body Works, let's be honest. So they smell great. They look beautiful. Like why would, how would I not want to put this in my bathroom? And then the other two scents I have are Spice Ginger and Frosted Cranberry. So I bought these all, I bought all four of these for their Black Friday, yeah, Black Friday haul. And I loved them. They smelled amazing. I will say though, like I thought the like the cream soaps were gonna last longer than their foaming soaps. No, I would say forego on their creamy soaps or what do they call them, nourishing soaps, and just get the foamy ones because they last so much longer, surprisingly, for being foam. But all these smell good, and like look at how cute these are. Like seriously. Of course I would want this in my bathroom. That was all of my cleaning product empties. I hope you enjoyed this. Got a little maybe mini reviews out of this. I love testing out cleaning products. Like I'm weird. That's like my new favorite thing. I don't know. <laughs> Who else just loves trying out new cleaning products? Like let me know down in the comments if you have any products that you would like me to try. Granted, I've probably bought it, but there has been times like people have suggested that I try out that evergreen line and I completely forgot about it. Like I think it came out after I like purchased a lot of this stuff. So I was like kind of waiting on it, but I am planning on doing like a comparison between different dish soaps. I'm also going to do a comparison on the like all purpose sprays because I have like four of them that I've been testing out and also what have I been doing? Oh, I've also tested out like a bunch of bathroom products and glass cleaners. Like I've been testing all of these out for like a long time since I did, what did I do? I did like a seven generation cleaning product haul and, and I think probably just like my Grove orders that I've been buying a bunch of stuff from as well. I've been testing all of these out for a while. Like it's a lot of products. So like I really wanted to like give you guys like a good amount of time me using them before I give you a review. But don't worry, it is in the making right now. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, I am so scatterbrained right now because I have like 30 million things I want to get done. So, yes, this is like way too much chit chat that I'm probably going to have to cut out because I could talk forever. So, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Just know I will have more cleaning comparison product videos coming. So, make sure you have those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss that because I'm planning on going in depth about these products. So thank you again for watching. Bye.